to work in the offseason. He's much slimmer and he's much better in the run game than he was at the end of last season. So many weapons. Flanker screen. Watkins. A towel chew who is a big best receivers in the country as a tandem. Thrown underneath. Watkins. Boyd himself who's such a dangerous player running and throwing. Pressure on Boyd. Got him from behind. And it's a towel chew. United States and has found the home at outside linebacker at Georgia Tech. And going up against Gifford Timothy, who's got a little bit of a gimpy knee, and that was a good get off. I'm not so sure. Position. Starting at the Georgia Tech 36 yard line. Ellington. Gets a couple of we check and match the intensity of the towel who has been all over the field so far. Boyd on a little half roll throws to the sideline. Boyd in the gun, fakes it to Watkins, keeps it himself. Taj Boyd. They shift for then bring Watkins back this way. And throw to Watkins. Open in the flat. Dives. Got to the one foot line. Player in the country. He was one of four true freshmen ever named as a first team AP All American. And this is why Clemson and T. But there just was some energy and leadership lacking. So he's back down on the sideline this week and spent a, spent a lot of time talking. Don't sprint full speed to that side. You're going to make the play, so you're frozen. <laughs> Boyd over the middle, and that one is complete to the third. This is an elite guy if he continues to improve like this. Boyd. Humphreys. The grass. Roderick McDowell is the running back. He gets the carry. Runs into traffic. And once you run into teach of him, Freeman, and then he does a rip move to the side of the ball. Good technique. Boyd with a pump fake tries to take off. Now comes to Watkins in the. Clemson goes back to work on offense. Boyd has a tip forward, catches it anyway, and threw that flag. Good job. Well, he got his money's worth, that's for sure. Sammy Watkins on the flanker around. Gets outside for Catane, you have to let him go. Boyd, quarterback draw. Of course, we saw him on pace for 1,200 plus. Boyd. For threw it on time. If he doesn't, that would have been a big hit. Throw underneath, and that's to. There is the delay. He's got the first down. Boy, way from the Georgia Tech 19 yard line. Is that read option again? Boyd comes back to the near side, stays on his. He's got his jumbo package in there right now, and the toss to Ellington. He's got the first. Malcolm Mitchell comes back to offense full time for. Georgia, he's an awfully explosive player. Ford, as they tried times where Al Gro is calling up the delay where the guy doesn't come right away. Clemson hasn't seen it a couple of times. They'll roll Boyd this time and thrown. Just an easy inside move. That was Ijean Cross who yeah, got in there. Cross, yeah. Ellington on the swing. First down and more. Ellington with all that speed. That's great coverage, not pretty good. It was a nine-yard gain, his longest. Boyd avoids the sack. Now they control the clock, they control the personnel, they control everything about the game. It's just changed so much. Boyd with time, now he's pressured. They can keep plays alive. Throws that one sideline. It's such an easy thing, but it really does help your yards after catch when you can make grabs like this. Boyd so good this year, keeping plays alive with his quarters of the play when plays when the game is over. Boyd play action, fake throws, and off the hands. Ford, the tight end, goes in motion. Boyd. <laughs> Sometimes you have some of those plays where it looks like, what in the world was that? Intercepted! Right in the hands of Sean Green, and the nose tackle takes the stunt. Watch as Atalchu comes in. The nose guard comes around Green, and he's standing right in the passing lane. Because he was stunting, he read the quarterback the whole way. If Green weren't on a stunt, if he were just rushing the passer, he drives. Each team has turned it over once. 
Ellington broke one tackle. Dow is the new tailback. You've got Daryl Smith, number 40, a blocking back in there. He's on the right side, and they hand it off to Sammy Watkins on the flanker to run at least 12 a game. Blitz coming. They don't get there. The pass underneath completely. He catches the ball. Ellington. For those wrong. He is the architect behind this multiple offense as Boyd chased out of the pocket and will go down a loss. Chad Morris had at Lake Travis High School. That's one of the top programs in the entire state. Blitz coming. Wide open. Is sure handed as Hopkins. Your feet get a little tied up. And McDowell, if he's able to snatch that ball. 65th play the Clemson offense has run in this ball game. They'd love to run 80. We'll have 86 Sam Cooper who's in motion here. Those are the guys they normally look at. He's not the same receiver as Ford, but he'll get this one. And Cooper gets it to start today after six starts a year ago at linebacker. Boyd on third down over the middle. Knocked down almost intercepted. Into or ABC. Reese, thank you very much. Clemson of yardage. If there is such a thing. Yeah. <laughs> That game was lightning. Boyd still looking. Get five-man rush coming. Hopkins to mid. Boyd one pump fake goes for the end zone. Wide open. Hopkins. Clemson now looking for the dagger. Ellington picks his way to. Second and 13. Boyd with plenty of time now takes off. Drummond. Georgia Tech comes with the blitz. Boyd tipped and intercepted by Drummond. Photography club. The blocked field goal means that Clemson is under full hands. Wouldn't be surprised in a quarterback draw either. No, there he goes. Boyd on his feet. Straight up to McDowell to the goal line. Touchdown. Ball did come loose, and the side judge was coming in signaling touchdown. And we're not going to be able to tell from that angle either. There's just too many bodies there. And remember the call, it's a touchdown on the field, so they have to have.